Hello Bookish friends, welcome to my uh, September wrap up part 2. In this video, uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, 5 books uh, that I finished in the second half of September. And uh, like I did in my previous wrap ups, I will uh, insert the clips uh, that I've recorded uh, very very soon after I finish those works. Today is the 19th of uh, September and uh, I finished the uh, novella that I was reading for series September, uh, which was uh, Virgins by Diana Gabaldon, the prequel novella to the Outlander series. The story uh, takes place in uh, the time period after Jamie's child home was attacked by the uh, English uh, troops. He and his sister Jamie had an unfortunate incident happen to them. Jamie joins his best friend Ian, who are both teenagers, and they go through an ad exciting adventures, which makes them encounter uh, with uh, concepts of love, sexuality, and also deception. And I saw the uh, cover and uh, the title of the book, and learned that the main characters were teenage Ian and uh, Jamie. Uh, I really wanted to read this novella because although Jamie is a delightful main character, I think character of Ayn is a beloved side character, but a character that, that we need to know more of. It was great to see the bond between them and uh, also how they uh, teased each other like real best friends. The plot was uh, quite exciting and uh, interesting. And uh, I also really like the, the fact that uh, they stayed uh, true to uh, the events of Outlander and the following two books that I've read. The, of course, uh, the writing of Gabaldon is uh, always engaging. So overall, I gave uh, Virgins by Diana Gabaldon a 7 out of 10. Today is the 22nd of September and I finished one book yesterday evening and uh, one book today. The book that I finished yesterday evening was Make Believe by Elizabeth Gooch. This book is the uh, companion uh, short story uh, collection of uh, Island Magic by the same author. And this short story collection uh, tells uh, anecdotes uh, from the uh, five children of protagonists uh, of the novel. There are about uh, 10 uh, stories written uh, from points of view of uh, different siblings and mostly feature the life in the island. These stories are full of natural descriptions uh, of the uh, island. And to be honest, uh, I do not have uh, much to say about uh, this book. Like the novel, I quite like the uh, descriptions of the island, found uh, especially the first story quite intriguing. These stories gave a mo more insight uh, to the siblings, especially the middle siblings, who have not been mentioned uh, much in the novel. However, after the uh, fourth short story, I thought uh, the themes and some of the humor <laughs> felt uh, repetitive. Uh, I was not uh, very much interested in them. Overall, I gave Make Believe by Elizabeth Gooch a 6 out of 10. The second book uh, that I finished uh, was a body read with uh, Loretta. We are continuing with the uh, Dexter series by Jeff Lindsay. The book we finished uh, was dearly devoted Dexter. Uh, we continue to follow Dexter Morgan uh, who follows in the steps of his uh, stepdad uh, and uh, works uh, in the police department as uh, a criminal uh, scene investigator. However, uh, he hides a very, very dark secret. He is a serial killer who murders criminals who are especially guilty of crimes uh, committed against children, and mostly sex crimes against children. And in the beginning of the book, he murders a pedophile. However, he recognizes uh, another police officer uh, following him. Dexter uh, decides to stop his killings and uh, act normal uh, for a while. Uh, during this time, a very interesting uh, type of uh, crime, uh, which leaves uh, the victims uh, alive, however unable to function, occurs in the city. And Dexter, along with her police detective sister, Debra, and her new boyfriend, uh, FBI detective, uh, decides to investigate uh, who is behind uh, these killings. 
Loretta and I started reading uh, this series uh, in memory of Alice because this series was uh, recommended uh, by her in one of her videos. And Loretta and I both put it in our TBR uh, after watching that video. In my review of the first book, uh, I said that I could see why Alice liked this series very much because uh, it features a very complex uh, character. It baffled me how much uh, I could uh, understand uh, Dexter, who's a serial killer. And in this book, maybe uh, after overcoming my surprise and accepting the fact that uh, I actually quite like Dexter, I tried to focus more on the uh, mystery and the writing style. And although I liked the mystery a lot, uh, which was quite complex uh, and uh, quite exciting to read, uh, I was uh, much more pleasantly surprised by the writing style. I really do like uh, using uh, the first person point of view where there is a mystery so to solve. But uh, I've never uh, read uh, a book uh, that uses uh, first, point of first person point of view uh, so good in the scenes uh, that are not related to any mystery or thriller. Some scenes were quite funny to read uh, from the point of view of Dexter, uh, who's trying to fit in the society, both uh, having uh, serial killer urges, as well as being on the spectrum. And aside from quite funny scenes, there was a subtle dark humor, which existed uh, th all throughout the book, which featured uh, Dexter's observations about uh, the life in general. Uh, and I cannot believe I loved that dark humor uh, so much. Overall, uh, this was a quite uh, pleasant, surprising book for me. I gave uh, Dearly Devoted Dexter by Jeff Lindsay uh, an 8 out of 10. Today is the 25th of uh, September and uh, I finished another book uh, that I'm reading for uh, series September. Next book that I was supposed to read uh, for uh, Malay Count Mysteries Novella series. This series is actually a, a mixture of two genres, uh, urban fantasy and uh, mystery. Uh, in this series, uh, we follow Conrad, uh, who is the uh, assistant of uh, the Angel of Death. He has an ability to talk with dead souls of the people who have very recently lost their lives or, uh, in most cases, murdered. And with the information that he got uh, from the victims, uh, he solves uh, the murders uh, with his uh, quite uh, supernatural abilities. In this uh, installment of the series, he is faced with uh, three murders, uh, all occurred in one night, and their method of death is very similar. However, uh, the victims uh, do share nothing in common, which forces Conrad uh, to uh, enlist the help of uh, the police director in the fictional city of Ekamet and his uh, potential. Uh, love interest, uh, Nanda, who's an healer and an empath. I very much enjoyed uh, every installment of uh, this novella series uh, because of uh, the shortness of the work. The plot focuses uh, on the mystery, however, uh, with uh, the way that uh, the characters uh, behaved uh, to the mystery and the way that their uh, relationship is portrayed in throughout the series, uh, I got really fond of uh, especially uh, the uh, very cute romance between uh, Conrad and Nanda. Additionally, I think uh, Charlotte e. English uh, writes quite clearly, but also quite beautifully. So that's why I gave uh, The Spirit of uh, Solstice uh, by Charlotte e. English an 8 out of 10. Today is the 29th of September and uh, I finished another book that I was reading for Shorty September, Sweet Bean Pace by Durian Sukagawa. In this book, uh, we follow Centora. He works in a very small uh, confectionery shop selling uh, dorayaki, a traditional Japanese uh, food, uh, a type of pancake filled with sweet bean paste. One day, an elderly uh, woman, uh, Tokuye, she has uh, disfigured hands and uh, she asks Santora to work uh, in the shop and make a sweet bean paste uh, for him, which she has been doing for 50 years. After tasting her sweet bean paste, Santora uh, decides to hire uh, Tokuye, but as time passes, their friendship uh, grows 
and uh, they learn uh, many things uh, about their pasts uh, which are both uh, full of uh, big troubles and tragedies i loved reading this bittersweet book the writing uh, style was beautiful and uh, it was also translated beautifully the characters were uh, very very lovable and uh, i loved their interactions uh, which was cute but also quite realistic and i was especially impressed by uh, Takoyo's past, a tragedy that really happened up until 50 years ago. In order not to give spoilers, I won't talk about it. Overall, uh, this was a lovely reading experience for me. And I gave a sweet bean paste by uh, Durian Sukagawa a 9 out of 10. Those were the 5 works uh, that I finished in the second half of September. Uh, please comment down below have you read any of the uh, books uh, that i talked about and what did you think of them if you're a new viewer first of all welcome uh, please like and subscribe hope to see you very soon bye as for turkish word of the day i'm going to choose bean bean means fasulye in turkish and fasulye is our turkish word of the day have a good day